Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode 34 of our Transport Fever 2 Let's Play. If you guys are new to the series, definitely check out some of the older videos. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on this series as well as others. Leave a like and a comment, let me know how I'm doing, and it helps with the video engagement. We'll go through a quick recap of episode 33, and then we'll go ahead and get into the video. All right, episode 34 here. So we are just starting out on our, what is this, our sand route, actually, between Tenerden uh, and Ferry Hill. Um, we're going to get back to this because this is kind of where we're going to be working to start off this episode. But let's go into a quick recap of episode 33. In episode 33, moving all the way across the map, we set up a small maintenance yard here in Hythe. Um, connecting into a now much larger cargo platform uh, that can accommodate some huge trains. I want to say up to about 500 meters. The reason we did that is that if we come into here and we will use the Red Roof train um, as an example, this is now a 434 meter train um, that can move just an absolute enormous amount of construction materials. It's doing really good financially. Um, and we did that for both the Hythe to Red Ruth uh, construction material, materials train and the Hythe to Norton construction materials train, which also involved uh, adding in a huge platform here to receive that train. So you can kind of see how our lines shook out. Uh, they're going pretty well. And actually, I'm just kind of noticing, I might want to get a couple more trucks on here. Oh, and we just got another train. Um, which is good. I did speed it up to about half speed just because we're kind of, uh, I kind of want to keep going with the, uh, with the tech before we completely fill up the map. Um, so why don't we come on here? I'm just going to buy these from here. Um, I want to buy two more and then throw them onto the tools route. Uh, and then let's just make sure that those are all the same. Make them that purple color so we can try and clear out some of these tools. Anyway, we got the time uh, ticked up to half speed rather than quarter. Um, try and advance the tech a little bit faster just before we completely fill up this map. Um, I was starting to get a little worried that we we would essentially fill the map and you know it, it would only be like the 1970s and we wouldn't really get uh, get to work with any of our cool stuff, our modern stuff. But anyway, Tenerden to Ferry Hill. This is where we're gonna be working. We started out on one of these trucks, and the reason is that there's a pretty fair amount of uh, traffic utilizing this road. We got a good mix of civilian vehicles, um, as well as obviously our industrial vehicles. These roads are fairly limiting when it comes to speed, and as we advance in the technology front, I think it would be good to start getting some, uh, some faster roads on here. So we're gonna put in a small highway system running between Tenerden and Ferry Hill. Now, the question is, the big question, do we foresee this highway system continuing on from Tenerden? My guess is no. Um, the only reason I say that is it is really far um, in Transport Fever 2 terms down to Skelton, um, and they have a dedicated high-speed rail running in between. And then the only other option would be Askern, and I just don't really see, you know, an easily, a super viable route over to Askern. So I think that we are going to uh, terminate this highway here at Tenerden for the time being. You know, we could we could always come back and uh, redevelop, but uh, but I but I think for now it's going to terminate right around here. So let's kind of start. I'm going to pause just because we're going to end up deleting uh, quite a bit of stuff. So let's get a lot of this deleted out of here because we're actually going to use this road coming along here because this is actually like a really nice main um, main avenue through here. So I'm going to upgrade this with bus lanes. Um, and is that going to keep the tram tracks? Let's see. Yes, it did. Okay. So let's upgrade this road with bus lanes. Um, we're going to have to move that. So let's not forget to do that. And then this is actually going to come 
right down here like that. Um, okay, and now let's move this quickly. So let's get rid of that, upgrade this section of road, and then let's go ahead and put this back in. So if we rotate this around, I would love to be able to essentially just put this right back where it was. So we can get that in there. And I think that that was, or was that a tram depot? That might've been a tram depot. Uh, just cause I do see that we have a truck depot right up there. Okay. And it looks like we can get it in right there without uh, destroying too many buildings. Um, and that's good. So that's back in there. We got our truck depot here. Um, and while we're at it, let's just see, are these our most up-to-date trams? They're not. Okay. Tenerden deserves up-to-date trams. So let's get those in there. And then let's see, how are these tram stops doing? Uh, they seem to be doing pretty well. So we're good there. But anyway, so now this road is coming right out here. Um, and I actually would love to straighten this out. So let's just delete some of that. Let's pull this straight out here. Just to keep it kind of clean, we'll grab this. And then we'll branch this into here, just like it was. And now let's see. Let's see how we want this to work. So I'm going to delete that. And then we're going to make a nice flat uh, pad here to build a roundabout. So let's kind of put that in there. Delete this road out. And now let's come in here with a roundabout. We are going to have to bring this up here with bus lanes. So let's bring that to about there so that we can go ahead and add this roundabout in. Uh, this will have bus lanes. So let's see if we can make this work. And let me just see. Yeah, I don't have my roundabout builder yet. I don't remember quite when that comes into play. Um, do we want three lanes or two lanes? I feel like two is probably enough. For whatever reason, doesn't like that. So let's get, go ahead and get rid of that. Do it one more time. So let's get a roundabout in there. That looks pretty good. It's a little egg shaped, but I think for the most part, that looks pretty good. And I just want to double check. Uh, I'm going to come over to another area where I know that we've done roundabouts in the past. And I just want to see, did I use two lane? Yeah, I did. Okay. Perfect. So back up to Tenerden, where we now have a nice roundabout in here. We are going to delete this road wrapping around this industry. Um, and then we'll have to make a new connection in here. Um, so let's... Let's clean up some of this madness that we got going on over here. Um, and let's kind of redo some of these roads here so that we can get a good connection in here. Switch this over to one of the country roads. And just branch that in there. So now they have a connection. Um, and then we can come back here Make that connection. And then I kind of like this road coming through here. And then why don't we just make a nice connection there to kind of terminate it. That looks nice. Okay, so now we are going to have a two-lane highway coming off of here. Um, however, a lot of this is going to have to get reworked. So if we take a look here, we have one um, line running directly from the fuel refinery uh, to this fuel refinery. The one that converts the oil sand into uh, fuel and the one that converts the oil into fuel. We do not want to sever that. So if we come into our terrain view, we have some height differences that I think we can take advantage of here. 
um, and I'm, I'm going to kind of, I'll kind of show you what I mean, but I think the, the first thing that we're going to do, um, is we're going to sever this connection. Yes. And that is going to break, um, our sand line, but it is going to kind of free up some of our area to work with the let's just kind of smooth some of this out smooth some of this out uh, it is going to free up some of our area to work with these contours so essentially I want to find a contour that would allow us to cross over here and that's where we're going to try and uh, make our crossover of the highway so let's grab this and if I were to kind of pull this over here and just kind of shift it up a little bit and bring it back down, see where we can get. So like if I went there, that would allow us to get over very easily. So if I add that in, and then I grab another one. that and that's actually just got to kind of play with it a little bit until we get it exactly where we want it and I think that that is pretty much exactly where we want that so by using the existing contours, we managed to preserve this connection here while also allowing us to get our highway across. So now all we have to do is actually connect our highway down to the existing um, roundabout without making our heights too extreme. So I wonder how this would look. So like if we just brought that down there, uh, we could do fill, I want to say. And before we do that, let's let's just kind of bring some of this up and see what we can see what we can work with here. So let's see. That's going to take us straight. If we start to kind of go down a little bit. And then if we connect in there, how does that look? Little tunneling. Um, I actually, I don't hate the tunneling. I kind of like the tunneling. But we're going to go with uh, some modern tunnels. Um, and now before we do that, let's bring out this uh, second bit of road here. Let's essentially just do this in reverse. So if I brought that to there, connected that up. Yeah, so that would work. And now if we come back in here, flip this road around. So now that is all connected up and then We just come through here and smooth this out. That should work. And I actually, I kind of like that. I like how that's going to work. Um, and then we could probably make a couple just kind of strategic connections through here. Um, no bus lanes there. We can upgrade that. And then we could... I don't really know how I'm going to fill this. Branch a road off like this. Then maybe connect that up. I don't really foresee that having too, too much traffic. Maybe a road in there. That works. Anyway, though. So we have our... 
highway, the beginnings of our highway. And now our highway is going to continue on here. It's going to um, essentially mirror this existing country road through here. But we're going to need to make a couple connections here so that the, uh, the sand line can utilize this, uh, this highway. So let's first start by continuing to build our highway. And we're just going to kind of branch this through here. this something like this come through here flip this around and then let's come in here and smooth that out all along there okay perfect so we need to make a couple connections here so to do so we are going to branch this off with a T Nice and flat. Like that. And then we are going to kind of curve this around. Connect that in there. So that is our connection onto the highway going in that direction. And then here, we're going to do the exact same thing. So let's grab this, coming off nice and straight at like a 90. Get rid of that. Curve that. And then we'll grab this. Connect that up there. That looks pretty good. So now we have our two highway connections through here. And now our sand line can utilize the highway while our fuel line is unobstructed. Okay, great. So now let's go ahead and just delete this country road out of here so that we can continue to build our highway. And I'm going to delete it out to there. Um, and then I think what we're going to do so we are going to delete this crossing altogether, and then our highway will just kind of jump over there. So let's grab our two lane highway and let's start to make our climb here. And then let's kind of rotate through this, this pass here. Uh, except we are probably going to tunnel just because this is the highway you know they would have much better funding to do so and let's just check our heights here so you can kind of see the height at the cursor so this is 114 this is 136 so where would 114 be oh where would 114 yeah, i think that little contour there is kind of where we want to get to so let's bring it out to there. Something like that. And now we can get out of our, our heights view. Wrap this around. this down to there like that perfect that one's much higher um, oh and it's doing that that is just terrible all right let's uh, let's try that again what if I bring this back to there? There we 
go. Grab that. Connect it up there. I kind of like it. You know, it's kind of it's kind of weird, but we can go with it. And then let's reverse this set of highway, just like that. And then let's come through here and just kind of smooth this out as we're going through this this pass like that. And then what we can do is we can clean up where this old road used to be. So we can come in here, get some darker grass. That was a bit too much of the darker grass. Come back over here, bring the strength way down. Just kind of tie it in there wherever possible. Smooth that out. Get uh, kind of a mix of trees here. Something like that. Bring our brush strength down a little bit. There we go. Just kind of blend them in a little bit. And now we've now it's like that road was never there. Anyway, okay, so how are we gonna get through here? So let's back this road out even further. And we are going to jump this uh, this whole area at height. So let's grab this and let's bring it up. We're just gonna go straight over. Like that. Let's kind of see. You, know, you kind of want this bridge to be as short as possible. So let's get it to be there. And then that lines up almost perfectly. Uh, so we're going to go with it. That's, oh man, it's crooked. Oh, almost, almost, almost perfectly. Let's bring it up. Go a little bit further out. Man, is that lower? Can we actually go lower? All right, I like that more. So let's delete this now. Now we just need to line this up pretty well. I'm just I'm I'm going to be good with pretty well just cuz I don't want this to get completely ridiculous. That looks pretty good. Okay, so that is our connection through there. Now, we need to make some connections like this. This will be fill. I'm gonna do it as bridge for now. Uh, just because we're gonna, we're gonna need a little bit of bridge that this doesn't completely clip with what we got going on here. Um, but we can delete that out, connect that up, make that fill. Yes. And then we can make that fill. Oh, yeah, we can go ahead and <laughs> add in some, uh, some trees. Sure. And then let's kind of, I'm just going to pull some of these heights out here. So when we kind of smooth it out, it looks a little bit more natural. But anyway, so now we have our bridge crossing here. And we are going to have to make a connection here. And I will be right back. All right, I'm back. 
So what uh, what probably felt like just a few seconds for you guys was <laughs> over an hour for me. We are uh, we are sleep training my infant son, and it is a pretty wild ride. Anyway, we are going to get back into uh, what we were doing. So we've established this uh, connection overhead, and now we need to establish the connections for the sand line. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring um, a couple roads along here, and we're going to kind of bring them up and connect them into this highway. I want this to be nice and flat, relatively. So let's get this here. Let's curve it nicely, and then probably back that out. Let's see, if I make that connection, what does that look like? That's pretty steep. I don't think it needs to be, though. So what if I were to back that out there? Yeah, that looks okay. And then we can come through here and just kind of smooth this out. So that's one connection. And then we need to connect them up on this side as well. Um, and I think we'll do the same thing that we did earlier. We'll just kind of make mirroring connections here. I just want to make sure that they are entering the highway at a, uh, at a good angle. So now let's kind of curve this like a 90 and if I make a little connection here and then I grab this connect it up how steep is that that's not bad that is not bad and then why don't we use some of our huh okay so I guess that that's gonna have to remain country road that's okay though I was going to say we could utilize some of our funding to fix that road, but it's going to interfere with the pillars. So we are, we're not going to do that. And we're just going to say that this works. Anyway, we have fixed our, um, our sand line. So now we can go ahead and, uh, let that run. My question is where did all my sand trucks go? We got a bunch there. I just want to make sure that I didn't like isolate any of them someplace that I probably shouldn't have. No, they all look like they're okay, and I apologize for all this jumping around. I apologize. That was probably traumatic. But anyway, we now have our sand line set up so we can continue to build the highway connection into Ferry Hill. So let's delete this road out. Um, and it's going to come into Ferry Hill here. Now the question is which road do we want them to come in on? These are two pretty main avenues here, and I would kind of be inclined to make, make it be this one. Um, now in order to do that, let's delete some of this, and then let's come in here with bus lanes and improve this um, and then we're going to kind of we're going to bring a little straight road out here slight curve keep that straight um, okay not really sure why that jumped up so aggressively let's try that again let's take a curve through here Keep it flat. There we go. And now if we pull it straight. Keeping it flat again. And now let's grab this and let's kind of flatten out a nice big area for a roundabout like we always do. Let's grab this.
Man, not having the best of luck with the roundabout building today. Bring it up. And bring it around. I guess just today is not my day for roundabouts. Let's see. Man. All right. One more time. Here we go. Yeah, that's good. Okay. And now we will smooth all this out and then we will make some connections in here. So. Let's take a two-lane road and connect that up there. I like that. This one. Can connect in there. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, and then let's smooth this out. Oh, one thing that I wanted to do before we forget Let's come in here, and I want to make sure that all of this is locked. I'm going to lock that. I'm also going to lock that. But okay. Cool. So this is locked, and then all of that should be locked. And then not that anyone's ever going to be developing down here, but let's lock this as well. And then let's lock this. So now nothing can develop onto here. Which is perfect, because I don't want anything to. Alright, so let's grab a nice straight road coming off here. Make a connection there, just for the fun of it. Um, and then let's grab some... A little bit of flat terrain here, where we can... Make our initial pieces of highway. Just like that. Okay, so now we want to immediately start to bend up into here. Don't worry, we will fix that directionality. We're going to generally follow the same area as the old road, because that's generally how a lot of these roads will develop over time is they will generally stick to the existing path. But okay, so now this will be fill to right there. Yeah, let's make that fill. That's already a pretty long bridge. Um, this one... Yeah, let's make that fill as well. And now if I grab this, should be able to connect that up. Bridge there, or fill there, fill there. Let it roll. Flip this around. And we can let this run now because this is uh, functional for, for all intents and purposes. This is completely functional. Um, which is great. Let's just smooth out some of this in here. Make sure it all looks nice. And now we have a nice highway running between Tenerden and Ferry Hill. Now, one thing that I do want to do, I want to add a bus line running between the two cities. Not necessary at all. We have a high-speed passenger rail. Um, but I like to give people, you know, the option of where they want to travel. So with that being the case, uh, we're going to need to add a bus transfer somewhere in here. Um, and I kind of think that the best place to do it is right here. So let's pause this. I'm going to delete both of these bus stops so that we can add in a little bus stop here. Oh man, and those heights are just terrible. 
All right, Tenerden will regrow, so I'm not gonna feel too horrible about doing that, but uh, it's gotta be done. So let's see, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put this in right here. I'm going to expand it, one, and then add in that extra stop. Um, we are going to electrify that. Now let's grab our streets. We are going to put in a street right here. We are going to keep it nice and flat. And then we're going to connect it there. We're going to pull it along here, also nice and flat. And then we're going to connect it up there. Then we're going to smooth the whole thing out. Check our lines here. Um, so this is counterclockwise. So this one's going North Street. Let me see. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, I would like the one that goes Queensway. Yeah, it, it really doesn't matter which one goes where. Um, now that I really think about it. So, that'll be totally fine. We just kind of gouged out a pretty good chunk of downtown Tenerden um, to add that in, but I think that's okay. So let's add a new line here. And this is going to run from Tenerden up to Ferry Hill. And at Ferry Hill, I want it to go to Platform 1. Um, let's make it a nice... No, we already have a teal here. A nice red. Is there a red that this is going to conflict with? It's not going to conflict there. Um, and it's really not going to conflict here either. So I'll, I'll go with I'll go with red. And this is going to be B for bus. And this is... Tenterden. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Here we go. Uh, B for bus. Tenterden to Ferry Hill. Okay. And now let's see what route they're taking. Yeah, I, I don't... This is the problem with making these connections. Is I don't really like them. Alright, I'm going to get rid of this connection. Uh, because I don't really like that. Probably gonna get rid of that connection too. Definitely not doing that. That's definitely not happening. Um, how can I avoid that? Uh, I guess we could sever this all together. Just because... You know, they can just take the highway to get to quote-unquote work. Um, and now they're going to be going along this way. Just trying to see. What I would love to do is upgrade this to a four-lane with bus lanes, um, but we can't um, simply because of traffic. So what I... Or simply because of space. It won't fit in between the station. Um, and even though I've shown complete willingness to obliterate cities, I don't think that we're going to do that quite uh, at this point. So what we are going to do is we're just going to route them all the way down here. So let's get some waypoints. Let's go here and here. And if we hop on here after, yeah, after North Street leave this way and then after the grove come back in this way and of course they're going to do that <laughs> so let's give them some waypoints here i just really want this to go where i want it to go for whatever reason okay so that's where that's going to run and now let's check fairy hill let's see what they're doing course they just do exactly what i want them to do okay 
That's a tram depot. Uh, let's see, we have a road depot right here. So let's grab some buses, and we want these Mercedes-Benz. They go 43 miles an hour. Let's get... Uh, let's get three of them on here. And then let's go up to Tenerden. Get three of them on here. Then let's go on here and let's make them red. They were already black and red, but now they're now they're extra red. Um, and that's going to be perfect. So now that's going to run. Um, we have our trucks utilizing the highway, which is perfect. We have a lot of civilian vehicles utilizing our highway. Um, and they're going to exit on and off here, um, just like they're supposed to. Which is great. Um, and everything is, is pretty much working as intended. So let's, let's see if we can get some early numbers on here. Yes, yeah, so we have decent, um, private, tra private transport numbers. Hopefully we will get some passengers who want to take this bus. The reason that I like to double up the, uh, modes of transportation between cities, and I know that it's not necessarily how the game functions, you know, the, I, I believe the way that the game functions is that the the Sims will essentially pick the, the fastest route. So whatever has the shortest travel time between their two destinations, they will pick. If I'm wrong about that, please correct me in the comments because I, I would, first of all, I would love to be wrong about that. I would love it if there was some calculation going into the, the cost of the journey, but I don't think there is considering that there's no, you know, there's no like ticket cost information um, regarding how expensive it is for them to get somewhere. Um, but anyway, I like to give people multiple options to get from A to B because you got to think that, you know, there would be people who are trying to make a decision. I don't know what is going on here. I wonder actually if I can get rid of this light. No, I can get rid of these lights. Anyway, you would have to imagine that there are people who would be willing to, you know, pay the extra money for a high-speed flight or a high-speed train to get down to Tenerden. There are other people who just want to take the, uh, the, sh the longer journey but much shorter ticket price of driving. Similarly, if you were trying to get, you know, if you, if you were trying to get from, uh, from Yately here all the way up to Twickenham, there are people who are going to take the by far most convenient option, which is you just take a bus or you just drive to the airport, buy a ticket, fly to Twickenham, boom, you're done. There are other people who are going to think about it, think a little bit more economically, you know, maybe, maybe they're not so, so much in a rush. They're a little bit more concerned with how much things cost. They'll, uh, you know, they'll take a bus over to Norton. They'll hop on the train from Norton into Carlshalton, switch to the train that runs to the Twickenham airport and then take a bus into the city, you know? I just, uh, I, I do wish that the game had a little bit more nuance when it came to uh, Sims kind of determining uh, how much they want to spend on a, on a given journey. And, uh, you know, I'm really excited for the new City Skylines, for instance, because it looks like they're really trying. I don't know how it's going to how it's going to turn out, but it looks like they're really trying to accomplish something like that with their new mechanics about choosing paths. Um, and I'm just kind of checking out industries as we go. Uh, but I'm really excited for how that's going to work. Hopefully, if it does work. And let's see. Looks like that we do have some... Some interest in the Ferry Hill... Uh, Tenerden bus route. Which is very exciting. Oh, we just got new planes. Why don't we, uh, why don't we check out those new planes? We can get them added somewhere. I'm thinking Yately. Uh, Yately, where are you? So let's see, let's slow this down here. Let's go into Yately. Quick autosave once we're once we're done here. So currently we have these Lockheeds. What did we just get? Oh, these are cargo planes. We do not have a cargo line set up yet. We're gonna have to set one up. Yeah, these are great planes. Um, carry a solid amount of cargo. 
Um, maybe we could do cargo planes in the next episode. And I'll kind of show you my, my unique take on the cargo plane in uh, Transport Fever. Just because I think it's, you know, put it this way, I'm not going to use a cargo plane to move coal <laughs> or iron. Um, anyway, guys, this is probably going to bring us to the end of the episode. I don't really want to get into another huge project um, with only a couple minutes left. So we'll probably just cut it off here a little bit shorter today. If you guys are enjoying the series, definitely let me know in the comments. Um, I do feel this series, you know, kind of winding down over the next like 10 or so episodes. Um, so I would love to know what kind of games you guys want me to check out uh, in the future. If you haven't yet, you should check out my Timberborn playthrough. I think that one's going really well. And then I've had a couple other ideas um, for some future playthroughs. I was kind of thinking Anno 1800. Um, let me know what you think if you guys are Anno fans. I haven't played uh, a full game of Anno in a long time, like years. And I kind of sat, I sat down to play some of it the other day and I was kind of thinking, you know, this might be a good, uh, good YouTube series. So if you guys are Anno fans, let me know. If you guys are fans of other games, let me know that too. I'd be happy to try something out. Anyway, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, it really helps out the channel in terms of visibility, motivating to see. Um, and I think we're, we got some good content going on. Leave a like and a comment if you made it this far. Um, I really appreciate it. And then if you're feeling uh, extra, you know, extra willing and able, um, you can check out my Patreon linked in the description below. Get access to all my save files. Uh, and until the next episode, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks. Bye.